Hello there, my name is Ismaus and today let's talk about viewport denoising which is a new feature in Blender 2.9 uh, as you can see I'm using it here and uh, you can see I'm using about 128 samples but you can see that uh, uh, there is not a lot of noise here let me just move my camera a bit so that you can see this uh, starting to work I'm just going to talk about how to set this up uh, or how this works in uh, yeah 2.8 so I'm using cycles here to render this and uh, you can see it's not a lot of Sample. maybe let me just change the background a bit here so that now uh, we're dealing with a white background instead of uh, this here let me just add a plane yes yes uh, to make to make the noise look much visible yeah something like that now we should be able to see everything So this is EV and this is cycles. You can see it starts off with a lot of noise and then just all the noise disappears, but uh, it's still uh, adding samples. So the more samples it adds, uh, the more the cleaner the, the, the cleaner the image becomes. And uh, in the settings here, so if you go to the render settings, uh, you can choose between CPU and uh, uh, GPU, which is your graphics card. Uh, but uh, I, I don't sometimes it, it says it doesn't support uh, the denoising if you have uh, sometimes it will say that uh, it doesn't support the graphics card but uh, I found that uh, if you if that happens if uh, you get an error message uh, when you're trying to use uh, the viewport denoising let me see if I can recreate that error it could be a bug maybe I don't know uh, so I'll try reporting it and see let me first disable that change this back to CPU and see if I go to GPU and then turn this on yeah, you can see that I'm getting an error denoiser the does not denoiser type does not support not supported by compute device uh, so when you get this error it could be a bug just switch back to uh, CPU and then switch back to GPU it will work just fine without any errors uh, because I like using the GP because it uh, renders a bit faster and uh, you have a few settings here so uh, you have this sample start so if you set the sample to one it will start denoising right away at uh, one at frame one at uh, some at the first sample but uh, this will take a lot of time because uh, on every increment of this uh, rip uh, path tracing sample here it will be uh, denoising but uh, if you increase this start sample uh, to say something like 32 uh, it will just let me first move the camera a bit uh, it will uh, render or try to remove these these no it will render normally uh, until uh, 32 samples uh, then it will start uh, denoising that takes up a little bit less computation power because it's it's not denoising all the 128 samples you have added here it's just denoising from these 32 samples uh, it will not give give you the same it will not give you as a clear image as if you started at right away at sample one uh, but I, I don't see that much difference uh, anyway so yeah but uh, that's yeah anyway that's what that's what I want to talk about the new uh, viewport uh, denoising feature and, uh, yeah so you know you're no longer limited with uh, CPU so I, I remember the last uh, denoiser optics denoiser only worked with uh, the Nvidia graphics card from RTX and above uh, but uh, this one works with any GPU you have mine is a, a GTX 1050 Ti so yeah it works quite nice let me see if I can find it here edit references be under system i think yeah, you can see it's a uh, gtx 1050 ti and that uh, works fine with this denoising uh so it's not only limited to your viewport if you try rendering this it will also uh re clear out or denoise uh, the rendered image uh, as you can see we have two op options here we have the render and the uh, viewport render i'm not sure what these other options actually the only one type here yeah, anyway, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching.